Hello everyone, Supermando Bros here, and today let's take a look at the Pixar Spotlight series, Kevin. Now, this is a figure I've had for a little bit now that I finally decided to take a look at. This is a action figure version of the character Kevin from the film Up, obviously. And this is part of Mattel's Pixar Spotlight series, and this is, I believe, the first release, which is Kevin. Now, taking a look at the packaging, the packaging is pretty basic. There's really nothing super interesting going on here. Bottom says Pixar Spotlight series, top Pixar. Six plus Kevin has a picture of Kevin and a big window to where you can see the entire figure and everything it comes with. The top is just this nice blue. You can see the Pixar logo, which is actually a cutout. You can stick your finger in there if you want. I don't know why, but you could do that. As well as it says Pixar and Pixar Spotlight series. On the side, it has the Up logo as well as a brief description of the Pixar Spotlight series, which says the Pixar Spotlight series shines a light on the iconic characters created by the artists and storytellers at Pixar through incredible details inside and out. From the ultra posable figures to special creators insights and beyond. On the other side is this really cool art of Kevin and on the back, it has an image of the figure, the accessories, as well well as a quote from character designer Albert Lozano, I hope I said that right, which says, while designing Kevin, we wanted to create a character that was both elegant and goofy at the same time. Looking to form such as fluted wine glasses and modernist sculptures, we were tasked to create a believable bird that doesn't exist, but perhaps could. As for the name Kevin, for the longest time, we called her Gary. And on the bottom, a whole bunch of legal stuff, as well as the actual bottom has a whole bunch of legal stuff, barcode, stuff like that. So without further ado let's take a look at the figure Here is Kevin out of the packaging. Let's quickly take a look at some of the accessories. The first accessory is a card which shows some concept art of Kevin as well as the artist which is Albert Lozano. It's also the up logo and on the back it just has the Pixar Spotlight logo. The next thing is actually this backdrop. It looks really nice and on the back it just has logo of Kevin. I'm not really a big fan of this side. I really prefer the other side which is a frame directly from the movie. This figure also comes with a stand which will be needed. Kevin does have a hard time standing up. She also comes with a piece of chocolate, which is, of course, from the movie, and it looks really nice. I really like that they added just a piece of chocolate. So it comes with three of her babies, which are all a bit unique from each other, so it's not exactly the same figure copy and pasted three times. Now, taking a look at the actual figure, the sculpt is absolutely fantastic. It looks exactly like Kevin from the movie. There's really no big differences between the figure and the movie. Obviously, the big difference is that this one it has articulation while the movie is a cgi model the sculpt is really nice it is so perfect and the paint detail is also pretty good there is some paint errors here and there and on the bottom we do actually have some paint coming off if, if it'll focus for me on the bottom there is some paint coming off but it's not that big of an issue but everything else just looks fantastic especially the back from that blue to purple just looks so good the face is by far one of the best parts of the figure because it just looks so good overall this figure just looks so so good and articulation eh, the head can swivel side to side it can move all the way around and the mouth can open up about that far neck is made out of a flexible material so it can slightly move around but it has no articulation her little wings can move up about that far and down about that far as well as it can move all the way around and for the legs the legs can move forward about that far and back about that far her knees are on a ratchet joint and can go back about that far and forward about that far and for the feet they can move forward about that far back about that far and can swivel side to side this is also on a ratchet joint and that is it for articulation there is not a lot of articulation on this figure but as you see there are some holes at the feet to where if, if you get the pixar spotlight series stand and it's kind of hard to get a position to where she would actually stand up with it and there it is she now is standing up and now let's do some size comparisons
So overall, the sculpt is fantastic. The paint is really good. And the articulation isn't the best, but I don't see a big issue with that. Overall, I do recommend this figure.